the relationship I was in was toxic and I did not know it. And I wanted to see it. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video on the sound of searching. Today I am going to just be talking a little bit about how you can tell when you're in a toxic relationship. And I mainly want to share my story with you just to remind you and to encourage you and tell you that you are not broken. For most of my life, and especially my adult life in my relationship, I didn't know who I was. And technically, I still don't, but I'm getting there. I was lost, I was in love, and honestly, looking back, that only made me feel more alone. And the relationship had looked really good from the outside, but on the inside, both of us weren't good for each other. And truthfully, the relationship I was in was toxic, and I did not know it, and I wouldn't accept it when people told me it was. And I don't think my ex really even knew that it was toxic, either. We were both young, we were each other's first boyfriend and girlfriend, and we were still learning, you know? We took all the arguments and the mishaps and just took it as a learning curve, you know, a growing experience rather than, I can't do this, I'm incapable. And we were both too stubborn to really walk away. We both fought to make it work, and we stuck by each other thinking that's what you do. And in reality, we just didn't want to be alone. I don't think we really had confidence in ourselves to stand on our own, to walk through life without a relationship. We chose each other, and we leaned on each other for most of our lives growing up. And as we got older, that became a problem when life got more serious. But truth be told, I don't miss it. I do not miss that relationship. Because now that I've come out of it, and I've reflected on it, and I've grown through all the trials that were within it, I've seen that I constantly doubted myself. I suppressed my desires and my feelings that I had, all my opinions, because I didn't want to rock the boat. I never really spoke up for myself, and I tolerated excuses when they would arise, rather than actually find a compromise. I just kind of gave up on the argument because I got exhausted from it. And he honestly made me feel like I was crazy. I didn't realize that until I was reflecting on my own relationship. Why did I stay in the relationship? Well, I just didn't want to be alone. I didn't want to be unloved. Because if I was alone, after all this work and all this effort and dedication I put into the relationship, then that must make me unlovable. And that's not true. And it took me a while to realize that. And now that I'm able to truly love myself, I'm actually feeling like myself again. After years and years and years of not knowing who I was. Because I was caught up in a relationship that was toxic. So mainly what I realized was he was controlling. He very much took the lead, and I was okay with that, but it was to a point where I no longer felt like myself. I no longer had a voice, and I just adapted to whatever he wanted, and he never really boosted me and encouraged me in my pursuits. It was... A very minimal effort type relationship towards the end 
and multiple people have told me and now that the relationship has completely ended that he dimmed my light he took away the spark from within me the, the part of me that used to light up that used to be excited about life and I didn't realize that at all I had just accepted who I was and I settled for being that person instead of truly being in a healthy environment and choosing a healthy relationship that would inspire me, that would push me forward, that would bring joy back into my life. And I think most of it had to just do with the amount of toxicity within it. From the get-go, we had always struggled with that loyalty aspect or even just the confidence of you're my one and only and of course when you're young you don't really think like that so I get it but as you get older you kind of expect someone to have a certain little level of dedication and when you don't get that level of dedication you start to distrust each other you start to put each other down and you start to be toxic. He had made me feel inferior and stupid for just being suspicious. And it made me feel crazy because I couldn't trust myself anymore. I was constantly in a state of survival. I was constantly trying to solve things, trying to connect the dots, and I was no longer happy, and I couldn't even fake it anymore. And it started to affect my life, and affect my friendships, and my family, in very toxic ways. So now that I've shared all of that, I wanted to talk with you guys about some signs if you're in a toxic relationship. So how can you notice if you are in a toxic relationship? You don't communicate very well anymore. You tend to have a lot of criticism for each other. You don't really enjoy the conversation as much as you used to. It becomes more of a tolerance. You often struggle with jealousy. I certainly did because I no longer had a confidence you just no longer can support each other in that way. Often people tend to get more controlling when they're in a toxic relationship. Um, it's a lot of questions, a lot of suspicion, and my way or the highway. There's not really that open communication flowing anymore. And it tends to lead to very angry and hurt egos which at the end of the day is only going to make you resent each other so if you are starting to hold on to grudges longer if you are tending to you know just not let things go you're constantly at a state of stress all the time and you just don't want to put up with the other person anymore another thing is just a clear black and white feeling of dishonesty. If someone isn't honest with you, then you aren't going to be building your relationship on very solid ground. You're going to be settling for something less than you deserve. You should be in a relationship where you can feel confident, where you can trust the person, where you can feel free to express your opinion and to have that nurturing aspect between you guys and in your communication as well. And then another one, like I had touched on before, is feeling very stressed. Like if you're constantly on edge, if you just don't feel like you have energy or like you can take on the world, which you should feel like you can when you're in a good, solid relationship, you should feel like you could do anything. If you feel constantly stressed and you feel it physically and mentally, 
it's not good for you. It is going to tear you down. It's going to make you not want to show up to life. It's going to make you want to pull back from relationships. It's going to make you physically ill. And I had phases in my relationship where my skin was terrible. I was super skinny and I had my hair falling out. I just was no longer caring about my physical health. And it put me in a state that it only compounded how I was feeling. I already didn't feel secure, I didn't feel confident, I didn't feel excited for life. I didn't want to get into hobbies, I didn't want to pursue anything that was my own because he was my only source of energy and he was my only source of getting a dose of happiness. So if you feel like you can't handle anything on your own, that is definitely something you don't want to have in your life. If you can't stand on your own and feel confident in yourself and you have to rely on the other person, that's not a good thing to be in. You don't want to be codependent to that depth. It's okay to be codependent in a way, but it needs to be healthy. You should trust each other. You should lean on each other. You should want to be present in each other's lives. But if they aren't there, you shouldn't be rendered incapable of standing on your own. And another big thing is if you can't be independent, if you can't seem to put yourself first in any way because you're so dedicated, because you belittle yourself so much and you're ignoring your own needs, that's not good. You shouldn't be ignoring your own needs. You guys should be constantly keeping each other in check to boost each other. What do you need from me? There should be that open communication, once again, of acknowledging each other and of wanting to make each other happy. And once you start ignoring each other, you're just going to, again, go back to resenting and going back to dishonesty and everything else will compound again and again. And you won't feel secure in your relationship. So... All in all, you you can tell you're in a toxic relationship if you're just not content. A relationship should bring you joy. It should make you feel like you're full of light. You should feel happy waking up in the morning, on most days at least. And yes, it's not simple. It's not easy to do and to have a healthy relationship because relationships do take work. When the work stops, when none of you are putting in any more effort, you can probably say you're not in a healthy relationship anymore. So again, just to recap, the signs to tell if you're in a toxic relationship would be when you start to just communicate in negative fashions, you tend to get jealous, or you just start having that controlling behavior between each other, and then that builds into resenting one another and you just can't trust each other, so you're dishonest all the time. You're not really respecting each other's boundaries and you're just constantly at a level of stress. And you no longer start to care about your own needs and only put them first. Alright guys, so in this video I had talked about signs to tell if you're in a toxic relationship and shared a little bit about my own experience in my relationship with my ex-husband. And I hope that you are taking good care of yourself and that you are moving forward with confidence. Thanks so much for watching this video of The Sound of Searching as I begin to delve into finding more of who I am. And hopefully you will too. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know. And if you didn't, also tell me why and send me a message so that I can improve and possibly add to this. And if you guys have ever been experiencing any of these feelings and this environment of a toxic relationship, go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me your experience or anything you would love to share 
and maybe something I didn't mention or touch on in this video. If you want to continue to join me on the sound of searching and journey with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.